We want to take a look at our weather right now. And Steve mentioned a little while ago FOMO, fear of missing out because we're inside working <laughs> and outside. There's all kinds of great things going on weather wise. I'm so glad you clarified that. I was racking my brain. FOMO. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so out of it. Assumptions are dangerous. I thought, oh, everybody knows FOMO. I should. But we cleared it all up, everybody. So, and no FOMO, fear of missing out on this weather forecast. We have several more days of some really good stuff uh, to come our way. So, let's take a live look outside. And you can see sunshine is really uh, widespread here this afternoon. And that is a difference maker because we've bumped up our temperatures into the upper 70s. That's your harbor camera looking pretty spiffy tonight and will be for the next few days. Weather headlines, let's break them down for you. Uh, early this morning, you saw that patchy fog here along the eastern shore. We saw those. Uh, uh, areas that we're seeing uh, fog that were pretty dense here, but we are starting to see uh, that not going to be the case until later on tonight. So we're okay here uh, for the evening hours. There we go. Some milder nights ahead of us. So we're talking about temperatures that won't be quite as uh, cool as what we saw this morning and last morning. And then even warmer days, a stretch of 80s headed our way, and the temperatures will cool off certainly here by Halloween. All right, take a look at our high temperature trend. This is a big, big story, and we're going to kind of piece this apart here over the next couple of hours and tell you the story of what happens with the timeline of this temperature change. High confidence that we keep those 80s through at least Saturday. Sunday and Monday, a little uncertainty of when that cold front arrives. So those numbers could be subject to change. So really important that you check back with the forecast. And like I said, we'll kind of show you those differences here in the next uh, two hours or so. 78 in the Inner Harbor right now, 75 Pikesville at 76 in Severn, upper 60s Northeast Maryland. So there is a temperature difference from place to place here uh, due to local bay influences. There you go. You can see high pressure, large in control. Huge difference in temperature between the east and the west. We will start to see a piece of that chilly air pivot its way south here as we move toward Monday of next week. So here's your planner for tonight. 50 degrees, your overnight low, and uh, our outlying suburbs that have been really chilly the last few mornings are not going to be as bad here early tomorrow morning, upper 40s to low 50s. Planning out your day on Thursday, upper 70s to lower 80s. And there you go. You can see those highs well above average. Now, as we take a look at our model comparison, this really breaks it down for you. Notice that the model on the left, the European model, much drier of a scenario here for Monday into Tuesday, which is obviously great for Halloween plants. The American model on the right side, definitely more aggressive and even brings the rain in for part of Sunday. Now, most of our models agree that it should be a dry, warm weekend, but we can't discount that American model. Uh, so we will continue to watch for any trends. So just keep checking back to that forecast. Right now, we're going to go with the positive trend, which has been consistent here. Upper 70s to low 80s, great outdoor weather, then sweater weather coming here Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Guys, over to you.